Hello and welcome to Sam's Kitchen. Today I have this uh, common dhokla recipe. It's a soft, spongy, savory, mouth-watering steam uh, cake made with chickpea flour. And it's a really famous Gujarati uh, snack. For this I am using this coarse chickpea flour. It's also called Laru Basin. One cup of this flour. And I'm going to um, mix it with water just enough that it soaks this flour. We're not going to make a batter at this time, just enough to soak it. I'm going to add a 2 tablespoon of uh, plain yogurt. This will make your common dhokla fluffy and softer. And also the yogurt has a little sour uh, taste so it gives a sweet and savory taste now keep it aside for at least four hours now after four hours uh, add green chili paste ginger paste turmeric powder add salt to taste and one and a half tablespoon of sugar and one to two teaspoon of oil and uh, just a little bit water that uh, to mix the batter and uh, it should be like a drip drip uh, uh, from your spatula kind of consistency not too watery and stir this vigorously to aerate the batter so it becomes more fluffy and uh, airy now prepare the steamer and when the water starts boiling add a steamer plate a plate that is deeper and brush that with oil Now when the steamer is ready and your plate is ready then add eno fruit salt or you can use the soda bicarb and mix it and stir it in one direction as possible. Now pour the batter immediately into the uh, plate and steam it for like about 15 to 20 minutes now to check if it's ready insert a knife when it comes out clean it's ready now let it cool for a few minutes and we're going to prepare the tempering for tempering you need uh, two tablespoon of oil heat it and when it's hot add mustard seeds and let it crack it's very important that you let it crack and add curry leaves and green chilies chopped asafoetida powder and I have mixed this 2 tablespoon of water with 2 teaspoon of sugar so you're going to pour that into the tempering mix and pour it over the the common dhokla and spread it evenly and I have cut this in a diamond shape you can cut it however whatever shape that you prefer bigger or smaller now you can see the, the common dhoklas are so spongy and airy and it is so soft and looking delicious. Now garnish this with uh, uh, grated coconut, fresh or dried. And some chopped cilantro.
और हरा धनिया and here your common dhoklas are ready enjoy it with the tea or your favorite chutney um, and i hope you like this video and i'll bring you another simple video next time till then happy eating and thank you for watching